Example 1D is a tapping lick. I'll demonstrate. Now you have some different ways that you could play this. You could use index or middle fingers. And you can either come in and tap and then pull toward the ceiling, or you can come in more back this way, and then flip the string down, you know, your finger rather, and pull off toward the floor. It's a little different sound. Now, I have nails because I play classical guitar, so actually when I use this, I'm using my nail to kind of grab the string. So if you're a classical player or a jazz player that uses nails, or a rock player, country, whatever, experiment, because you can get that nail to help crispen the sound a little bit. And just watch your intonation. You know, you don't want to start bending and pulling the strings. Now, if you notice what I'm doing with my fretting hand, I'm putting a dampening bar over here in the eighth fret, and I'm using my second, third, and fourth fingers. And that's just something I like to do. I'll play a lot of times with just the weaker side of my hand, just use my index finger as a dampener. And so it's a case where you could really keep things clean if you had a lot of high gain. But, you know, normally you could even move your finger. A lot of different left hand fingers you could use on this. And for some variation, remember what you're in is basically G Dorian. So you're just going down and even in the right hand. You can move around. Now you hear how the low E was ringing a little bit then, so that's where a dampening move. Everything's nice and tidy because I've got this dampening bar in place, you know? Or you can tie old dirty sock around the strings.